I'm in the back country a lot during the winter on my snowmobiles and I carry a lot of gear with me. In order to carry that gear, uh, I picked up a couple of plastic sleds. It's called a jet sled. You can see that in the video, jet sled by Chapel. They're really super lightweight. They come pre-drilled with two holes in the front and they come with a rope. And that's in the event that you want to pull this sled by hand. But since I was going to tow mine behind my snowmobiles, I made some adjustments and I drilled a couple of holes here and put some brackets. They also come, you can buy covers that go over the top of here with elastic all the way around. Here's a, here's a box. Uh, I bought two different sizes. Uh, the sizes I bought simply is one to accommodate a higher load than the other one. The only problem is with these brackets on here, the cover won't go over the top of it. So I modified it. I simply went and got a grommet kit. I think I got it from Harbor Freight or something like that. Just a simple grommet kit and put two grommets on each side on both of my covers. And that's what it looks like with the grommets in there. Otherwise, uh, there was no way to put my hitch on here to put this cover over the top with, with these, with these uh, brackets on here that I put on there. I also bought a hitch from the same company that I got the sled from. But I did some modifications. The, end, the ends of this, this uh, tow bar were pretty lightweight. And it would have a tendency to bend going up and down berms. If you've ridden a lot in the, on a snowmobile, you know what I mean. There's drifts back there. and Everything's not just, unless you're on a groomed trail, uh, which I'm not, there's a lot of drifts and berms and things like that. So the sled's going up and down. It would have a tendency to bend these back and forth, and I was afraid they're going to break. So I simply just got uh, cut those off, got a couple pieces of metal and welded them on there, and then drilled my holes through there. Another thing that I did is I took the hitch, the, the, the part that goes on the snowmobile, the hitch pin, uh, I drilled a hole in the bottom of the hitch pin and put a car pin in there. The reason I did that is one time I was going through some pretty rough terrain, I turned around and my sleigh was not behind the snowmobile and I couldn't even see it. Fortunately it wasn't back there too far, but what had happened is this, in this rough terrain, this hitch pin had come loose and of course it disconnected the sleigh and the sleigh was right there where the hitch pin came loose. So I always carry an extra hitch pin with you too, which I had. But anyway, after I drilled a hole through the bottom of it and put a cotter pin in there, I never lost a sleigh again after that. I use a box as an example. I use a couple of these, two or three of these, and it's by Plano. And I put them in there like this, fill it full of my gear. I can put a lot of gear and still get enough room in here. I can put wood in here. I can put water in here, uh, food, anything that I want to. And I double stack these. I put another one of these on top and this, uh, the other cover that's, that's larger, it fits on there perfectly. I'm going to put this, this cover on here and show you how easy, hopefully, it goes on. Got a rubber band or rubber around the, the bottom of it. And I'll hook this around these grommets. That's what it looks like when it's all tied down and your load's inside there. And it's, it's virtually uh, pretty watertight. Um, you know, even with rain and snow, I've never had any of the contents really get wet. Before I started using this cover, the track on the snowmobile would have a tendency to throw snow up. And after a while, I'd have this slave half full of snow. So after I put this on here, solved my problem. Everything stayed dry. I'll put this this hitch on here, show you how that works. Really super easy. Something like this. And then you just hook it on your snowmobile. And that's all there is to it.
and you get to camp, want to disconnect, or you know, if, let's say you don't want to take your sleigh with you, you've got some, you want to disconnect for some reason, these come off just as easy as they go on. Take it off like this, lay it down. It works, it's worked really good for me for a number of years. Hope you guys got some, some good out of this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.